Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a random one. I had got on cam today and just having a little cam blues because it is awfully slow. But I was on cam to like 4 a.m. last night and tokens were flowing, flowing, flowing. So I just think it was meant for me to get on here and just make this video for you guys. So I was thinking about something. So I've wanted to go to Exotica for the longest. So I got in the cam industry and I really didn't know too much about it. Then I started here and I'm like, oh shit, I have to be there. Like, it would just be so much benefit for me if I was there. And I've just been thinking this. So now I'm finally going. So as you guys know, I'm going with Chatterbait. They sent me all this cool swag, which I greatly appreciate them um, for sending me that. Um, something I haven't talked about before is I am going to be in the BBW fashion show there, which is so excited. It is put on by I Heart BBW. Um, Platinum Pussy is making this all possible. We're going to be showing off the Kixies. And by the way, if you go, which I'll put the link down below in the video, but if you go to Carrie's, K A I R K A R I S closetx.com you can get 10% off your order if you use the promo code paisley uh, me <laughs> so if you want to go get your pair go ahead and go do that um but we'll be showing them off in the fashion show we got different themes i am super excited i've never been to chicago never been in a fashion show never been to exotica it's gonna be my first time but i put a great deal into thinking like okay i have to make everything beneficial so before I knew Chatterbait was going to sponsor me, my friend had got a booth. So with having a booth, you get free tickets. So she was going to give me her tickets. But before I even met her, knew about these tickets or anything, like I had planned on going. So I was just thinking to myself, if I go, I have to make this beneficial. Because I've been wanting to go all this time. This might be my only chance to go this year. So I have to just make the best of it. So I was thinking to myself, hmm, I know there's a lot of people that are in the adult industry that go to Exotica and they're making money by selling merch and all the stuff. They have these booths like my friend or all this stuff. But I was thinking like, what about the sex workers that don't get booths that just show up to see some of their friends or catch a vibe or whatever the case is, how can they make money? And so these are three ways that I thought about that if I wasn't going with Chatterbait that I would totally do these things and I still might do some of them. Um, but check it out. So the first way that you can make money going to Exotica by not having a booth or anything is to sell selfies. So at this point you would have grown your fan base. You have some sort of a fan base. You know your fans are going to be there. They're going to want to take pictures with you. Charge for a selfie. $10, $15, $5, $20, whatever you think your price is, whatever you think you could, it's worth it for you charge for your selfies. They're going to be people asking to take pictures. You're going to be there. You're going to be in your lingerie. You're going to be all sexified. Even if they don't know who you are, they're going to want a picture because I remember um, one time I went to Vegas with my boyfriend and uh, there was these girls there. And they were just on the strip and they're like, they were charging for pictures. And we just took a picture with them just as some normal people. They were hot girls, blah, blah, blah. So I thought about that same concept, except people might actually know who you are for one. And two, like, even if they don't, they'll still pay for the damn selfie. <laughs> like, ask for donations for a selfie, you know? Okay. So that's the first way that I thought of. I'm like, okay, if I go there, then I can do that. The next thing I thought about is keeping something with your Q, with a QR code to your link on it. Now, you don't want this to just, you want this to be like one of those third party linking sites like Hubster, Linktree, All My Links, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on and on. There's so many of them. But that, that one link that's not going to change because you might change your name on your OnlyFans or you might change your name here or there. But if you have that one link, if they have the QR code, they'll always have that one link. And then from home, you can change what you put on that link. So whenever they click on it, they'll see 
whatever it is you're trying to advertise. So for me, I would use my Hubster. With my Hubster, it has my podcast link to it. It has um, my cam link to it. It has where you can buy custom videos. It has my fan site on it. And it has this YouTube on it as well. <laughs> so they could just check me all out. And so I didn't put socials on it because I don't want them just to follow me on social media because they're going to find that out anyways. I want them to go to some my paid services and get something. So if you're showing, if people are scanning your QR code or you have business cards or a flyer with your QR code on it and you're just randomly passing it out to people, somebody is going to click on that. Somebody is going to subscribe to your OnlyFans. Boom, you've made money while you're in a whole nother city. Then where are you from? At Exotica, you know? So that is the second way idea that I had. Now the third one, and just follow me along with it. So the third one is solely going to come from networking with other models and other sex workers. So you're going out there, you want to make some kind of money. Maybe people aren't buying selfies from you. Maybe you feel too awkward to just go up to random people passing out your stuff. But what you need to do because you don't want to pass this opportunity is you get the one chance to be in a room with your fellow co-workers. You need to get in there and mix and mingle. You need to go introduce yourselves to them. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, follow each other. Spark up a conversation. Find some common interest. Get like to where they would want to share you. And then by them sharing you, y'all be becoming friends and cross or not necessarily friends but at least to a co-workers level you're cross promoting y'all sharing each other they're then sharing you with all of their fan base which their fan base is going to come over and it's going to trickle down into money for you if you do it the smart way so i wanted to make this video because there's this girl and she was just complaining about how she once she's a sex worker and two that she was gonna go to exotica and not make no money and she was just saying how exotica and expos be a waste of her money and i was thinking like sweetheart no, no 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 this should not be a waste of your money you need to think of this as a great opportunity to make some money to gain a fan base and then you'll start getting more money like it's all a trickle down effect. Like, I was thinking, like, ooh, this girl's so pessimistic. Let me try to boost her up. So I try to give her some tips and stuff. If she listens, I don't fucking know. But I hope this helps somebody out there. <laughs> so if you're going to go to Exotica, you're a sex worker, it's going to be your first time, or maybe you just don't have a booth or you're not going with anybody and you're having to pay for your own ticket, that's fine. At least get your ticket money back from selfie sales, from trying to get people to subscribe to your sites by having a business card with a QR code and networking with people, most importantly. All right, so I've talked too much. I got a bunch of interviews to do today, but I just had to get on there and share my tips with y'all right quick. <laughs> so, to Lulu, -lu -lu, make sure you subscribe to my page, tap that notifications bell, let it ring so y'all can see me, okay? Bye!